Okay, guys. So these are the key concepts in editorial writing. Uh, when we say key concepts, the most important points that are accompanied with editorial writing. Okay. So, for example, we are talking about editorial policies and orientations. What do we mean by editorial policies? You don't just write. You always think of what your institution is thinking about. Because you are the heart bit of the institution. Okay? So it can be referred to as the beliefs of the media organization. What the organization believes in. Uh -huh. So it, it is, for example, when you're writing a notorio for this institution, there was an notorio for Unirio, isn't it? You first know what is what does Unirio stand for? Eh? What are the values that are at the Unirio? Okay. So these are the two questions that you ask yourself. What shall we publish and how shall we publish it? You cannot just write anything. So if, for example, you have been, you are going to work for Nkoma Radio, eh? you know that it belongs to Nkoma Church, isn't it? CCAP. Then you have to write something. You can't write something against that church. If you, for example, you go for Adventist Radio, you know these people, what they want is ABC. You have to know, isn't it? Eh? BBC, you have to know as well. Okay? So this also can take into be influenced by the following, the interest of the reader, okay? And also the personal interest and preferences of the publisher or owner of the newspaper. I remember when we were at the Times, the chairperson, is not, he was also the chief executive. He was a Muslim. Eh? He's a Muslim. So, if the sun, the, the, that changed the moon, what do you call that one? The Ramadan things and those, isn't it? Muezi Kangoti Waduruka, I know in Koloko Siku, no newspaper is my image, don't print. Eh? Nobody in that newspaper, you couldn't write anything against. Islam. You have to be careful, isn't it? Uh -huh. You have to be careful the way you do. And the other thing that influences the editorial policy is the social, political, and economic environment in which the media establishment is operating. Okay? So, in Malawi political situation, for example, eh, what are the issues that you can write that you know is within this? Okay. And then the degree and dimension of competition in the industry. There is, there is a competition in the industry. And how is it determined? So it's determined by news stories, the paper carries. Eh? You cannot write something out that outside that one. Okay, and the paper slogan, some call it the motto. Okay, so it can be at the masterhead, masterhead it or below the masterhead. The masterhead is um, Kajamalemba newspaper, for example, I'm like uh, the nation. When I would say, just an example, so we drive nation, said, come on. Or below, something that you identify with the newspaper. Okay? Uh, explanatory editorials usually are written as occasion demands to restate its editorial policy. Okay. When you're writing some to explain, for example, we as the Daily Times, we believe that that's what they mean, isn't it? You always explain to remind people what we stand for. And then the platform code. Okay, so this is which the paper enumerates the number of projects or principles for which it stands for. What do we stand for? Okay. 
And this can be expressed through the following diverse. Okay. So it can be first editorial or reading article, news story published by a newspaper. Okay. It can be editorial cartoon. Okay. So if you see the cartoons, they're also editorial in nature. So these are caricatures, okay, that reveal a total your dimension or direction of the newspaper. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm using the laptop of your fellow girls there. Then we have platforms. Platforms are usually published published at the beginning of the editorial page. Any more editorial page? Poem below me, depending on the page, but you should look at front page. Okay. Okay. Slogan, a slogan is a profound and remarkable statement of policy with public significance, which usually appears on editorial pages expressing the newspaper motto. Okay, but in Malawi, we don't have that kind of diverse. Normally, you find the Kajikamaka page two or page three to the left of the, paper, of the page. Eh? Okay. And then we have uh, editorial credibility. It refers to the newspaper's ability to truthfully disseminate information to, this, to its readers. Okay. And this one also in, in means the trustworthy reporter and editor. They would enhance editorial credibility of the newspaper. This is, when we say credibility, is one of the tenets of truthfulness. Uh, no, trust, trustworthiness. Okay. When you be doing research, but it's most qualitative, when we say trustworthiness, we're talking about is there something that is credible there? There's credibility. When you say credibility, something that has the dignity, something that carries that believability. Yeah. Uh, Trustworthiness, also, we talk about transferability. Transferability means, can you transfer somebody and they will be used as well? Eh? Then there's dependability. Okay. Can it be dependent? Dependent on. And then it's confirmability. So these four tenets credibility, dependability, confirmability, and transferability. But these stand for trustworthiness. Okay. Until you appeal, it's a third one. So just do with it, just be catchy and arresting an editorial, which so is it does it appeal. Newspeak. When we say newspeak, we, we are talking about elements of an editorial. Eh? This is part of the story that contains the main ingredients or major gist of the news which justifies the editorial. So if I say what's your newspeak? Can you mention the newspaper of your editorial? Means where did this come from? Eh? Where did the editorial? Where is it based on? On which news story? The editorial contact. What is this one? This has to do with discussing with an editor or writer for the story initiatives or editorial direction. Yeah. Editorial integrity. Editorial integrity is the desire. Of the editor to maintain honesty and impartiality in the course of news gathering, processing, and dissemination. Okay, so it can be achieved in a publication if the editor has freedom to discharge his fundamental responsibility to his audience. And then we have finally the editorial calendar. So it's this listing of specific times a publication will focus on special sections. So these, don't, you don't necessarily need to memorize them. You need to understand them. Eh? These are key concepts in editorial writing, what we are discussing. Okay? So don't break your head to memorize things. Understand them. Because I'm not asking you, what are the key concepts of editorial? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh? Okay. Even if you mention something different from this, as long as it is fine, isn't it? Eh? I don't expect you to say editorial calendar, exact editorial integrity. You would be using different terminology, but meaning these things. Okay? Yeah. All right. 
Then we have the editorial board. Okay. I don't think in my life there's such much of this, but we mean there must be a, people at the top of the institution eh, that makes that that make decisions about the editorial. Eh? So in the various minded newspaper, a group of knowledgeable writers, known as editorial board members, are saddled. So they take this one can write about gender issues. Okay. Top should be there. Is in the board. This one, I think, is an expert in agriculture field. It should be in the board. So when something pops up about agriculture, should be, should be able to write about that one. I should be able to provide insights, directions, or advice on that. Okay. So this is usually the meet and select to discuss some topical issues on the editorial they're going to be writing about. Okay. okay. So it is a other thorough and rigorous analysis and criticisms of the issues a member of the board is signed to write an editorial. Yeah. So, there's okay, Teresa, how much do you have a Just an example. Maybe you like about, you know, you write about issues about maybe activism, gender activism. Let's say, okay, how much do you have gender issues about editorial gender activism? Bring in. Let Teresa write this. Yeah. So maybe she's in the world of sports, write something about that one, etc. Tio maybe is in the education sector. I remember the education. When that day comes about an editorial concern in that area. That's what they mean by that. Okay. This is very easy to follow. This okay. Okay. Uh, techniques in editorial writing. Okay, what are these techniques that are involved? Uh, when you're writing editorials, we normally, okay, these are the terms that you come across. Definition of what, about persuasion, you want to persuade, and what are the laws of persuasion. Persuasive techniques in editorial writing, relevance of propaganda to editorial writing, and propaganda techniques in editorial writing. So most editorials are aimed at winning the affection of the readers. Okay. Uh, so what, the one who's going to write the editorial needs is thinking of convincing his readers to be persuaded to his viewpoint, point of view that is. So it must contain reasonable molecules of persuasion. In need that's enough details that can persuade somebody. Okay. So. One of them is persuasion. Okay. What is it when we say persuasion? This is a, a deliberate effort. It's also planned. Eh? Okay. So that you. Why do they need you 
people and you say they had not given it. Or if they had not given this gold coin, they had not kept it. Not that one. I would say. Then when the right hand gave, the left hand did not see. <laughs> but in the end, you still expect something. The good reward is the okay. So when someone gives you something of a perceived value, you immediately respond with the desired piece of the back. That's natural. That's what we mean by this. With the processing. The lot of contrasts. When two items are relatively different from each other, you will see it as more different if place goes together in terms of space. So you can trust the term you are seeing. Okay? Okay. Law of friends. What is the kind of question? Right? When someone says you need to do something and you perceive that person to have your best interest in mind, and or you would like him to have your best interest in mind, the strong will to fulfill your interest. It will be anxiety. Law of expectations. Okay. So you believe in or you expect, expect that it doesn't produce, it will produce good results. No matter what kind of result is that, it's a good thing you're doing. Okay. Law of association. If the woman he was going to, if, that, if she's my friend, if she's my friend, that she says, I like this place, I like this salon, you will do it because the friend you admire has like that. Okay. The law of consistency. This is when an individual announces in writing or paper that he is taking a position, or in which or point of view, he is promoting the fact that he will get the strength. It's actually the same. So you defend something, you didn't be more with their ideas. And just because you, you, you don't take your stand on the nation, whatever somebody does, you stand up, you stand firm on them consistently. Even somebody who is the witnesses of that uh, point of view you are standing And then you have law of conformity. Then you say, this thing, because many people like it, then I, I go for it. And I'm a tea, this, this kind of thing, eh? And I'm a tea, that kind of thing. And the love power. So, the love power is people have power over other people to the degree that like they are perceived as having great control of this. We are going to have this or something like that, right? Well, uh, the Shijo, the political, or the political leader, somebody. Okay. So, those are the laws of persuasion. So, the laws of persuasion, according to all kinds of things, can be used for good or bad. According to individual ethics, when we say ethics, we're talking about what do you think is good or bad? And value will determine how likely he will be to see. We will win the results. And no one will be proud. Okay. The social techniques in the writing. What are these? So, as usual, you must be arrested. As I said, you are arrested in my head. When you say arrested, you mean you are stuck to it. And you must be captured and trapped. As I said earlier, literary techniques must be employed in the introduction of comedy and fiction. So some of these is the techniques of the perspective writer or the intelligential part are as follows. So you have to write a simple but mature and corporate. Corporate means standing one institution, no personality, is no personal verbs or pronouns are in there. Don't try it in the beginning. Simple and compact for his understanding of the audience. Language. language. Language is the pillar of communication. So, please, what language are you using? Matters. You do not censor the very literate out of communication. 
Meaning, even those eh, usually have challenges to understand what happened. And then you are forced to create a much more impression when somebody starts struggling to. Struggle to she may be good of at the very beginning of the statement when you are right up, you are enjoying it. You should not be right in the church, you should have right in it. Don't put the readers off. Sustain the first impression. So somebody has said, really, you should continue with it. So I tell you, the potential sustain the interest of the reader if it's not a new. And contested facts. The first impression, therefore, can be sustained with and diluted facts. The use of parallelism and proper innovation. Parallelism means what you compare in the real world with what you are right in the real say, say exactly what you mean. Don't be about your bullshit. This is a cliche. But don't go around it. Issue. Go straight to the issue. Make use of repetition. What do you mean by this? Don't over repeat, but some of the important points can be repeated. Eh? For emphasis. Okay? So be able then. Use a lot of literary devices. Literary devices put in top, style, and approach to the idea. Devices are like metaphor. Symbols to mention one way a few should be used judiciously in terms of achieve desired effects. Okay? A strong closing appeal at the end of it, that is. Okay? Finish strongly. Interesting. Somebody said, ah, so this is the killer book. And they did it again. It should be interesting. So they have to give the work to the math work. You must be extremely arrested and highly calculated. All these things cannot be achieved within one writer with experience with time. Let us ask for propaganda and telewriting. Well, Sometimes we hear propaganda, we think it's something a lie. No. Propaganda means when you emphasize what you think is good and you emphasize what you think is bad. Some people who consider propaganda as outright lines or diabolical communication strategy will find it difficult to feel that propaganda could be used irresponsibly as the way they are described in high territory. No, it's not. Propaganda can be rationally useful to handle other subjects, emotional appeals, to influence behavior and after good or bad beliefs that propaganda is very useful. So, Propaganda is spicing up and your main uh, one that the writer should be careful not to portray bias and empty arguments by blindly misrepresenting the issue. So, propaganda is obvious that the reader notices and starts either conscious, conscious or unwittingly self defense. Issues that you choose only the positives. Eh? And throw away the negatives. The negatives are there, but you throw them away. Oh, so, what are these techniques in propaganda writing or editorial? So, these are useful moments of editorial writing. Okay. You have to have thorough knowledge in the of propaganda. So it, the idea is to get your age of the competition. For example, you have a product, you are writing about the product. Did you be writing about your product? You want to sell your product? No. You want to share, you want to go into market. Or you are going to party, you have market relations for your political party. You can talk about, start talking about negativities about your political party. Even those politicians, when they are saying it's propaganda, look at the line. If the line has something else. But they will talk. Something good about their political parties, but nothing bad about their political parties. 
with bad oil and liquid patterns. That's propaganda. Bible in general says, so this propaganda technique is usually used to make the word report about the entire world. Okay. So you, if the ADPP, if the ADCP, if the Abu government, eh, when that's going to be very true, but that's the word general good, something good, good. Then there's name calling. Name calling technique could be used either negative or positive. A bad name is given to the protagonist. What? I don't know if you want that Jesus is not in love with you. You're going to end up crazy. Do you know where Harambe is? <laughs> I've never been there, but I know it's in the south. Ask your friends where Harambe is. <laughs> <from Germany. laughs> this is in the northeast. The northeast? Eh? Yeah, let's go. Do you know where Can you point where the south is from this one? Uh, uh, <laughs> this side, I think. That's the south, isn't it? It should be the south. The east. <laughs> yeah. The east. That means the east would be... Where's the other one? I don't know. Behind you. It's the east. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that... Phew. If you're saying about the campus, mm. or you're saying about where the south, southern side is, or what, mm. what are you asking about? Yeah, general physical, the real south. The real south. Yeah? The real south. The real campus, north, south, east, west. <laughs> <yes. laughs> <laughs> yeah? uh, the way you know? The way the campus is like. <laughs> Where do you know? The left side is the east. The right side is my. my I mean, you know, the east side is my. 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 <laughs> no. The south should be. You know, the campus is like this, right? <laughs> the north. The south, the east, and the west. Yes. 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 But if you're asking me about Malone, they put yourself point that side. That's where southern region is. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you're asking. That's true. That's, that's true. Southern region is this way, really. Eh? Northern region is this way. It is east. West, really. East, eh? <laughs> I know what I'm asking. <laughs> so usually when you chat, west, in which case is the comma, Theo? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where the coma is. Yeah. I've never been there. Is it? Nkoda Kota side? You get to Nkoda Kota? Yeah, but which district is it? It's the coma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just on its own, I think. It's yeah. an island. Yes. Yeah. It was part of the Yeah. Then I asked you, have you ever heard of USSR, the former of Soviet Union? So I was saying, guys, if you ask Chinese, they are yes. interested in the world around you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because everybody else is waiting only to hear, to learn something about the world. Mm -hmm. Whether you are going into publication or like, the institution would like to hear from you. What I should know about the world around that institution mm -hmm. and within the institution? So you can inform them on the uh, action to be taken, eh? what opportunities to in the of communication. Eh? Then we have name calling of the second party can be positive and negative. In a positive and social perspective, like names like honey, I've seen these cartoons where the people show you honey, that's honey of the face. This is true honey. Darling, when I did mention all the two kind of comments of love from the address of the NPC. Okay, we can call the station. This device of the name is the act of Presenting one side of the coin. The propagandist, propagandist advertises or highlights an aspect of an issue he or she wants the public, the public to know and covers up when German plays. Well, that's kind of striking, eh? That's the common, 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 common way of propaganda which I know can be striking. So we know, it's one again. So you are, you see it's many. Then there's the bad, bad worker. This technique is a core or anchor in the military. If you can't pick them, join them. 
So what do they talk about? Joining the Joneses from the from the crowd and the crowd and the idea. Jonathan is the guy. Then we have a testimony. This is we talk about propaganda. Is it survival? So having a celebrity or when you cross from society and you also protect. Yeah. So this is an appeal to authority of the personality involved. Kemal Chaku, you can say it. Kemal Chaku, and you can be alone to something you take her. She must be there and she says, no, 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 no. Trust my device. These are simple symbols that indicate the prestige and authority of self government. These propagandists should identify and avoid those symbols. So, in the propagandist here has to trust the prestige in the symbol and bring it to where for the his or her prestige. So, you. We see the children on that shoe. Eh? We see the you know, we see something that's on there. They want to go. Celebrity is wearing something very important. Certain brand. Or you see someone taking a walk by something that should have walked by the pool. They were playing folk. This is strategy and tells coming down the way from the people you want to win their affection and present the best of us over there and try their aspiration and yearnings. We can. The vice president is in the right place. Okay? Or the end is in the kind of love of the tribe. Yeah? Of money I'm seeing. Right? So that is very important. And then do what you are. So we are side group. A beautiful community, this is the first one here on each person. Oh, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When they play for, yeah. like the whites are our best person, is too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because of his background, this is his brother, yeah? Okay? His brother. Mm -hmm. But we have seen, this one is in 19, right? Majority of the people, right? You can see, and like those kind of things. Yeah. You can change your color last yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you say you're full of that, I'm going to do that. Yeah, hey. What did I'm doing that in the back? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. He goes to gym. He went to, uh, I don't know what place he was at, but there's a different place. And you went to sit down with them. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. But you can tell me what they don't have to do. What feeling? I don't know what you're saying. 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 When you play Santa, and sometimes he goes to sit down. Then the same thing with Peter, he goes to sit down, goes to take chairs, guys. So, that's good. Thing. You don't see that. So, there is it. No problem, right? Whatever. I think we're going to take the first idea of issues and sexual aspects. As done before, therefore, you'll be the game. That's why. A beautiful journey. I've been here my time, I've been here for a chapter. Really? Yeah. Um, a beautiful sympathy, the use of words like mesmerization, ideologies, discrimination, this is the reverse strategy of the fourth message. So, each of the who play before a woman who is alive, this man to bear chauvinism, if what is in power. In essence, I will always rise in the middle of the child, the child. On the social level, we don't do as a matter of fact. In the end, the other Islam is not taking its own. When we were doing this, Islam, we were doing some very good work for the boys. We have seen the Chinese affair, the dead diva, the jamboree. Then it's not about us; it's just the Chinese. I don't know where. 
But Moses would not do that. Moses was already there. So his appeal was to be saved. So that's appeal to special interest. This is a kind of an appeal which goes to a special group of people who have common interests. Most of the Tory writers try to defend the project. So if you're writing about albinism, so it goes to those people. I feel the change is based on the assumption that the present social political, social political and economic order is there somehow to be progressive. So a change of outright the union of the old order and uh, the union of the old is a bit of a no, what would there must be change. Yeah? I feel the status quo is the things we are there are. I feel to bread and butter. This is this has to do with addressing some basic economic problems like provision of jobs, reduction of price of commodities like fuel, etc. This is a very better part. Then there is the attack strategy. This is the decreased for the notion of attack is the best form of defense. So here, the propagandists in the Tory right attacks use for ideas that are not in continuous process. <laughs> In a period of trust. There are certain things, individuals and beliefs, that the society holds as sacred. So the propagandist and the editorial writer should always hold this sacred truth in the cost of their systematic offenses. As any form of violation of the truth will offend the feelings, sensibilities of members of the public. So that's about <coughs> propaganda and persuasion. And um, the tenants of the three subjects. Um, how do we tell you that? So, a tree is a state oriented. This is anything that we do as we get a state oriented. It's about, written about two issues in this time. So, the writer has to choose what to write about. This was for choosing. Or the subject of the tourism, since not every issue can be written about. Okay. How do we choose that? Guys of good writer, good literature. Mm -hmm. It is custom and needs to have work in plan. When we say work in plan, we plan without being provoked. So we plan, so you will still write the tourism. And you have to get it to accomplish this. So these are some of the new techniques of the tourism art subjects. You have to get all your facts as you are seeing it. And always you have to read. You have to be aware of what world around you. Okay. Be exhausted in your fact finding. Don't live in a stone and days. Because this is a cliche to see you again. You know what it means? Don't live in a stone and day. Leave the stone and dead. So, so what does that mean? <coughs> okay, why are you thinking about it? Eliza? Um, it means to search every, every, any place you can manage to get the information that you need. And there should be, that's true, isn't it? There will be preliminary or before the preliminary. They check in every student. What am I? What am I? Okay. So take care of the school. So let there be consistency in your papers and your opinion. Whatever is in your mind, just to be consistent. Make sure that you are consistent. Be upright. For them, be upright in your views and aggressive in your expressions. Write your stuff down. A good and respectable newspaper is not obscene in its use of language in the history. The beginning of the material is an investment. That's a good one. Okay? So these are the tips of a tree based on the forum. Let's make it into a response. One more. One more. 
So a typical Torio has three parts. These are the statement for the issue and the definition. So I will see that the Torio we are going to divide is our the statement of the issue. I'll start with the translation. All of this is there. And, uh, secondly, on the second part, we'll be comment on the problem. What is the problem that we have to comment on? That? Of course, I must write the introduction, development, and the conclusion. And then that's for feature writing. For the statement of the issue, subject data and the thesis, we'll comment on the problem and see you have concluded. Which but you would know that the Victoria writing can be shown that there's a thesis, so, uh, there's a statement in the issue, there's commenting on the problem and then conclusion. Where you contain that which contains solutions to the problem that you find. You cannot only identify the problem, but you should also propose solutions. Which come in the mm, conclusion. Okay? Yeah. It is. Okay, so the introduction. This is. What is this? These are the problems. Then what are the solutions? Let me explain to you guys. It is instructive to note that the arrangement of the parts of the tutorial is not a dogmatic affair. What do you mean by that? Uh, let me say something is not dogmatic affair. What is it? Dog what? Dogmatic affair. Dogmatic affair. Mm. Okay. Dogmatic So, what do you mean by that? Dogmatic. I don't 
Ce o putere vă ingrați? V-ați greu? Ce ești? Îți văd ce ești. Să-mi scriu cu vântările mai ca să le țin din spate. Another logic that, another right that we fight with a great server and problem with points in a single sentence of an undemoon. So we don't. Yet another judges believe that the Torio has only two parts, seven and four and points. So the arguments are predicted, predicated, are built on, are found and won, upon the notion that like that is the Torio right that need to provide solution to problems that in fact, yes. Even in the right, we identify problems and you should there. You are still and then you go. This is the problem I can try and see this as a solution. So such so, uh, the arguments of the case of a problem you mentioned that like an artist, the jury writer did not provide solution to the problems they try. So such a jury about the animals of life as nice, attractive, and or the central or kind of solution to the solution is basic. So the missing link, you can read here, the missing link can only be affected from the some kind of solution to the problem, can affect it in no small measure the problem solved in fact. Make sure that we have a problem. This is this is problem conclusion. But the way you play around them is not much to fight. So for everything under the sun, there must be a purpose. The same thing is applicable to the concept of the terror. The terrorists are usually packaged to make my dimension purposes. Okay, so some quality of the terrorists are designed to form a strong relation, others are crafted with the very desire to pursue a new Editorials whose mission and purpose to persuade are supposed to be loaded with concrete facts so as to have desire to So this is the classification of the lights. This form of classification is closely related to the second category of classification. Here we have three major types interpretive, conservation, children, and experimental children, which perform the unique function. So, Transcription of facts, these are five of them. Interpretation, argument, criticism, condemnation, and debate. So we we'll say interpretation this type of editorial appraises an issue and then gives information or interpretation it in an objective manner to inform the reader. So the editorial presents facts and analyzes them to give meaningful uh, perspective. A jury of it is an jury that is meant to add an issue to draw out the point. It is usually on the contribution of it. So it is persuasive and convincing. Yesterday we are using these terms in the change of rhythm. And as such, the Tory writer must know how to explain each of their facts. If you look at the interpretation, we have an explanatory Tory that is also using in the interpretation we are explaining. Yeah? It's not a science, this is an art. Yeah? So be free. If you have a language, be free. Yeah? Don't restrict yourself too much. See. The most important thing, are you able to write? Are you right? Yes. Then we have a jury of criticism, a jury of criticism. This is a jury that ends with that and heals on bad aspects of the situation. It can be used to catch up to some contentious behavior and decision. This type of jury is meant to bring about a change of heart, both from government and the public. And then we have a jury of condemnation. This type of jury gives Recommendation of praise to government officials, actions by government, achievements in successes. And finally, the Tory of Entertainment, this Tory of Gifts, or Injects Comedy, in the issue being discussed, it suits the subject in the like manner that it was in 
Because the reader takes human interest and 